Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of The Shield Classroom. My name is Ram and I'm a cybersecurity specialist here at Manage Engine. In today's episode, we'll be covering everything about monitoring Active Directory. Well, I shouldn't be saying everything because that's a huge ocean to cover. We'll be covering five major things when it comes to monitoring Active Directory. First is auditing GPO modifications or how you're going to be auditing your group policy objects. The second thing that we'll be covering is how you're going to actually be monitoring recently created users and why you should be doing that. The third is recently enabled users and how you can monitor recently enabled users. The fourth thing that we'll be covering is recently modified organizational units. And finally, we'll also spend a little bit of time on how you can uh, monitor uh, changes that happen to security groups, such as domain administrators or other sensitive groups. So first things first, everything about auditing GPO modifications. Now, before we even delve into that topic, what is a GPO? Well, a GPO is a group policy object. And as you can see over here, it's a, co it's a collection of policy settings. So a lot of policy settings come together and they create what is called a group policy object. And you can imagine why that's so very important because it's all about policy settings. And that policy setting that you create as a group policy object or a collection of policy settings that you create as a group policy object can be applied to domains, domain controllers, and OUs. And because of that, because it applies to these things, the users and computers that are part of those domains, DCs, and OUs, well, they're also going to be um, affected by your group policy objects. So a change that happens to your group policy object, well, you need to monitor that. What if it's a malicious change? What if an attacker somehow finds their way into Active Directory and does a change on your GPO? The policy settings are getting changed. Things like your password policies and lockout policies can get changed and that can in turn be applied to everything within that particular uh, you know, uh, administrative boundary such as a domain DC or OU. So you've got to be able to monitor that. You also got to be able to be alerted about all of those things. So that is why auditing your GPO modifications, very, very critical. Then you have recently created users and you need to know whenever a user is created in Active Directory. Well, the answer, the reason is pretty simple. What if it's a malicious, a malicious user or it could be an attacker who has found their way into Active Directory and they are creating this user all for some sort of persistence. So they are creating a user with certain privileges and they want to use this user to go deeper into the network. And they want to make sure that they have that foothold into the uh, into Active Directory. This is what persistence is all about. And a user account could be maliciously created by an attacker for just this purpose. Now, it can be a local uh, user. It can be a domain user. And in some cases, it can even be a cloud account. But in cases when uh, it's Active Directory uh, is involved, when you have to uh, look for this particular event ID, that's 4720. So you've got to be able to uh, monitor all the recently created users in your network and that can be indicative of a larger attack, right? So I'm not saying that every user creation is malicious, but it could be part of the kill chain. And it is only when you monitor that and you're able to put that together with other things that may be happening in your Active Directory, would you ever know what really transpired? So that's why you need to monitor that. Third thing, recently enabled users. Well, what happens in a particular situation where, let's say, a particular user has left the organization. Well, uh, what would happen uh, is the user account gets disabled, right? But then what if an attacker knows about this, they get into Active Directory, and they are able to enable that user. So this is nothing but, you know, a user that gets enabled, a user account that gets enabled rather, and you've got to know about it. This could be indicative of a lateral movement or again, uh, just in the case of recently created users, it could be persistence. You've got to monitor that. When it comes to recently modified organizational units, very, very critical to do. But before we delve into that, what is an organizational unit or an OU, like many people like to refer to it? It's an administrative boundary. It is used to delegate administrative tasks to users within the organizational unit. So let's say that there are two branches of an organization, branch A and branch B, 
and branch A has certain users, branch B has certain users. And when it comes to delegating administrative tasks, the IT admin could say that a particular user in branch A is going to be responsible for all the admin tasks when it comes to branch A, and a particular user from branch B is going to be uh, responsible for all the administrative tasks in branch B. This is by far the most popular reason why you would want uh, OUs within your Active Directory. Uh, of course, uh, you could also, you know, it could also be a more of a hierarchical thing. You want to kind of liken your organizational unit structure to mimic your organization itself. So for, even for those reasons, people can have organizational units. And of course, you can have other organizational units within, the, within your organizational unit. You can have users, you can have computers, you can even have security groups within your organizational unit. And you can, like I said earlier, apply your GPOs to your organizational unit too. So it goes without saying, you've got to be able to monitor your organizational unit. Anytime any change happens there, it could be non-malicious, but it could also be malicious. And you've got to know that. You've got to know if your organizational units probably are being used for all the wrong reasons by a particular attacker. And you can only decipher what really happened if you're able to monitor that in real time. The final thing right here, it's all about monitoring your security groups. It could be highly sensitive groups like domain administrators. It could also be groups that you have created. Perhaps there's a group called finance, or there's a particular group called marketing or HR. It could be any group uh, that is sensitive to your organization. You've got to be able to monitor uh, all of these sensitive groups, both built-in as well as uh, custom groups that you've created. Um, so that anytime any change happens there, you know about that in real time and you get alerted about it. So let's say that a finance group is a very sensitive group in your organization and only finance managers are supposed to be a part of that group. What if a user uh, who is in the HR department gets added to the finance group? It, that could be actually a compromised user who's then being added into this finance group by a malicious actor. And that is something that you've got to really know about that in real time. And, you know, your groups at the end of the day um, dictate what kind of privileges a user has. So this particular user can get heightened privileges, can get some privileges that they're not supposed to get, and that can enable this particular user account, which has now been compromised, to do certain things in the network that they're not supposed to do. So that is why, you know, monitoring all of these is extremely critical. Yes, I've only gone over five things. There are so many things in Active Directory that you've got to monitor. And you've got to have a tool uh, such as Log360, which has an Active Directory auditing component within it to monitor that. And Log360 is also available as Log360 Cloud. So that's a cloud SIM solution uh, where you have a lot of Active Directory related uh, analytics and reports available also. So either you do it with Log360 or Log360 Cloud, but for sure you've got to be able to audit your Active Directory in real time. Thank you. Until next time, please take care.